and welcome back to Let's Play Sonic 06. Wow, that was an interesting little frame rate thing that just happened. Anyway, last time we finished up two stages, I th no, one stage, I think. What did we do last time? I don't actually remember. Um, that was a while ago by the way, a few days. So I forgot what stage, I think it was Dusty Desert and the Sonic fight. That's right, got it. Um, this time we are going to try a thing, a fun thing that a lot of people like to do from a speedrunning standpoint that I just think is really, really cool. Um, so I haven't done this glitch in a really long time, so bear with me. Um, Remember I have what- oh, okay, that kills you. <laughs> Good to know. Um, so let's try that again. Remember how at Dusty Desert, we clipped through the ceiling and got to the boss- not the boss room, the gold ring room? Well, I think, if I'm not mistaken, you can actually do the same thing uh, in this area as well. Again, I have seen video. Not only that, I have actually done this. Full disclosure, that was a really, really long time ago. That was a whole year ago when I did a practice run of this game in anticipation for the LP. Which, that practice didn't help at all because that was recorded such a long time ago. So, hope this goes well. If I fail it again, I'm probably going to just skip it. But if I'm not mistaken, I think you can actually skip to Radical Train using this glitch. And skip a mission, because Silver actually has a mission to get into Radical Train, and I'm pretty sure if you do this, you can actually skip the mission. Uh, again, it's been too long. Apparently, I think it is possible to clip through there and land on a certain point, and then sort of fly around out of bounds um, the love throughout Soleon and Newtown. It's really, um popular speedrunning glitch again. I think it actually is supposed to be easier on PS3 than 360, because the 360 version actually is less buggy, so it doesn't work as consistently, but I have actually figured out ways to get it to work. It's just that I don't remember how to get it to work, so um, we're not going to waste any more time on that, we're just going to jump straight into White Acropolis, which, of course, is kind of bad. It's actually kind of bad. Um, remember the snowball section? Yeah, if I'm not mistaken, there's actually a metal on that path. And remember how the camera actually is like this? And you're running towards it? Yeah, that's not fun. So that'll be fun. I might miss the metal. We will be able to see it. It's really visible. Uh, but there's a very, very high chance I will miss the medal because this level's kind of garbage in that regard. Um, on the whole, I'd say this is actually a pretty solid level. Uh, it's probably one of the better iterations of this level. But that one medal is just really, really bad. Um, wait a minute. I do not remember, but there's like a hidden path somewhere near the beginning of the level. If I'm not mistaken, where you can actually find the metal. I think it's this. Voila! So yes, going back was the secret. Uh, the next metal is uh, a little bit later on. Again, Blazek has such a more fun character to play than like Sonic. Which is sad. I mean, I was like that in Sonic Rush too, so... Uh, it's not a new thing for me, personally. Hello, Mr. Metal. Uh, that is the second medal, or should be, I think, or that could be the third, I don't actually know. Um, I'm looking at a guide, again, game facts is not the best source of information, so yeah. Um, I think it's now here, with the rocks, the rolling rocks, because we didn't get enough of that from 64. Um, there we go, it's behind this tree. Oh boy. Uh, attraction is weird. Not because it's a snow level, but because it's... It's Sonic 06. 
Uh, yep, it's not because it's a snow level. So here, you want to hang right if you can. Uh, to get the metal, hopefully. And not launch into the stratosphere. Uh. Oh, shoot. Uh, yeah, well, you see where the metal is. You, why am I going backwards? I'm holding down. I'm legit holding down, but I'm going backwards. That's really weird. <laughs> uh, by the way, this is not how you're supposed to get the metal. I'm locked on rails. I'm on rails. I'm pushing down. Wow. I mean, I know this game is glitchy. I know it's not the best game ever, but this is really glitching out. Like, hardcore glitching out right now, and, and it's kind of amazing, in kind of a scary, sad sort of way. Okay, so we've gone past the on-rails part, thank goodness. Um... Oh, well that's a predicament. Uh... It blocks the entrance. Well... Now what are we gonna do? Um... The problem is, I don't even know if there's anywhere we can, like, go and die and lose a life, <laughs> even, so that's kinda bad. Also, question mark, if you hit start over, do metals carry over? Let's hurry. Because if they do, then hey, we're in the clear. If they don't, then we're kinda of screwed. Okay, the metals are kept. So... <laughs> we got the metals, at least. That was something. Did not mean to hit start. I have too many controllers. I don't know if I've ever really told the story, but I have too many controllers. Uh, to the point where that actually messes me up. Like, really a lot. Which sounds silly, but it actually is true. I was playing the game Hatsune Miku Project uh, Minai uh, for 3DS. And that game was really hard because the X button icon uh, is blue. <laughs> And thus, it looks like the uh, X button icons for PlayStation and Xbox. So it was actually really hard because I kept pushing uh, either A for PlayStation or Y, or wait, or yeah, Y for Xbox. So I was pushing the wrong button repeatedly <laughs> because I just kept thinking of the other consoles. Thanks, camera. Okay, so if I'm not mistaken, we're back on track. Wow, I've never seen the game lag this much in uh, this level. You need to all the I like how she's talking- Okay, this is the episode where everything breaks. <laughs> this is the episode where everything breaks. Yes, that is not supposed to happen, that weird floating animation. No siree. Okay. Aha, so we finished up all the robots, so it's in this pile of rocks. That is the first five medals, and that's all of them as Blaze. <laughs> Sad part is, I think we're actually on par for S rank, <laughs> even though this has been a complete train wreck. And we're not even at Radical Train yet, and it's already a train wreck. Puns. Okay, um, this is the part that Tails goes through, if you don't recall. See, this ground shockwave makes things so much easier. Uh, I kind of wish you could get it earlier in the game, instead of halfway through Silver's story. This is actually his fourth, fourth level, by the way. Um, just making note of that. It's a good one, on the whole, other than being really broken, apparently. Uh, if you don't stay on rails, things go badly. That's pretty much the trend. But really, it's not that unusually terrible of a level, especially compared to other versions. I'd say Sonic's is worse, because you actually have to deal with, um, snowboard physics. Yeah, Sonic's is definitely worse. Is there anything in here? Uh, can I actually get through this? Or do I have to... Okay, that's not working. Moving on. Uh, worth a shot, I suppose, but yeah, definitely not working as intended. Uh, how am I supposed to hit that? Yeah, I'm s I think I am supposed to be able to break through this. Um... But I just don't know how. I mean, oh, I know. Let's try this. Not quite what I meant to do. There we go. Also... Searchlights are apparently only ground level. 
Remember that? Ah. Words. Please. Remember how I was having such a confident run and like, oh, we're probably gonna S rank. Yeah, not so much now because we wasted a lot of time on that. Um. Take you out. And the lasers go down. So we have a third spotlight here. Um. Rinse and repeat. To get a silver medal, I think. Yes. That is number six. Now, there is uh, some more of this because, again, this game loves to reuse the levels. I don't know if you've noticed, but this game loves to reuse levels. Also, by the way, this is actually super effective on these guys. Uh, yeah. That's probably the best way to defeat those enemies. And again, it is a shame you get this move so late compared to uh, his progress in the actual levels. It really would have come in handy for Dusty Desert. Now, we should be hitting a checkpoint because everyone has a checkpoint at this spot. Shadow and Sonic. Yes, there is a checkpoint. Okay. Now, this is a little bit complicated. Because as you may remember, this is a pretty open area. So it is actually kind of difficult to actually find the medals. To go to the end, you just go up the hill like every character. Uh, so this one is a little bit on the convoluted side because we actually are going for medals. You can make a giant snowball if you feel like it. I don't really feel like it. Okay, so up here we have another medal. So that is number seven. I'm saying this out loud because I want to really make sure I know what medal I'm collecting. <laughs> Uh, because I'm kind of just like screw the guide because uh, this level is super non-linear anyway. It's number eight. Yeah, it's number eight. Um. Yeah. Fair. Kick you out. Oh no. I'm pretty sure I'm not confusing this with Sonic's. I think I know where the next one is. Do I need the snowball for anything? Because I feel like I do. Good job hitting everything except the actual enemy. Um, what else can I say? I think this is actually the level that gets least changed from character to character. Because I feel like every character has the exact same level. Like, Wave Ocean, you basically go through Sonic's section as Blaze as well, or something the end, of course. But I feel like, on the whole, uh, the level is mostly the same between Sonic and Silver, essentially Silver's variant. But Shadow just kind of does his own thing. Even though he kind of is going through the same areas, he's going kind of backwards. So it doesn't feel as obvious as the exact same level. <laughs> Um... Okay, I'm lost. I'm actually kind of lost now. Oh boy. Um... So yeah. Got some enemies, so we might as well take combo these guys, just get more points for the road. Um... I'm legitimately trying to think of where the actual medals are. <laughs> I think Sonic's is actually around here, uh, but we're not Sonic, are we? Just pick up every rock, I assume, and just fling it at everything. Um... Hmm... Okay, I probably shouldn't have looked away for a split second. Um, I have a feeling it might be up here, actually. No way to know for sure, but just intuition. Also, the music's pretty solid uh, in this level, which is actually a recurring joke among people that the music is really solid in Sonic 06 as a game, but unfortunately that's the only thing people really like about it. Not a whole lot else you can say positive things about with this game. So this guy is not helping at all, by the way. Um, because the uh, the directions aren't really helping. Apparently, there's a metal near a wall, 
somewhere, but I don't know where that is. It's apparently near this ramp. It says, uh... Turn around and head down off the ramp after H, H, and then head to the right. Uh, going around the wall, you will find a silver medal. That's all it says. So it's like, I guess, behind this wall? But I could have sworn we went back here, but apparently not. Oh well. I can't imagine what it was like for these people who make these guides to actually have played this for the first time and actually have to find everything legit. I have a feeling that was quite a story. Um, can I stun the yellow one? Can. Bye. Look at her score, speaking of which, look at how high her score is. It's really ridiculous. I did not expect those to respawn on top of me. Grab a ring, please. Thank you. We can kind of go bowling here. Uh, that was not what I expected to happen, really. I was expecting to be able to hit this one and just detonate the whole group, but that did not go as planned. So we got 910, so that should be all of the medals, I think. Yes, I'm totally confident that I got all of the medals. Also, we got a boss coming up. Uh, fun fact. This boss is actually, to me, the hardest one to speedrun, because it has to be, like, frame perfect. From my experience is actually clear. So that'll be fun. There's a way to speedrun it, I just don't know what it is. I wish I could figure it out, but yeah. So yeah, without the medals, and without getting like stuck on spikes, roll. we would have gotten an S rank. We have more than enough ranks to upgrade literally everything. I think. Yeah, we do. And... Uh... Continue without saving. We have seven lives, we'll be fine. Looks like we've arrived a little too late. What? Oh no! I like how they don't even show the boss in that cutscene, so Silver's like, oh no, and like they don't say what he's actually referring to. It's just kind of weird. So this is Egg Genesis. Uh, he got a break during Shadow Story, but we have to fight him again now. He's not too bad. Plane. I don't know if that's picking up, but yeah, there's a plane. A guard, huh? just okay, this me. boss is the worst. What you want to do is grab as many missiles as you can. Uh, yeah, grab as many missiles as you can and chuck it at the underside of the boss. That's basically all you do. Um, if you do it really fast, you S rank it. If you do it a little bit too slow, you A rank it. Uh, so that's unfortunate. <laughs> Again, to me, this is actually one of the hardest fights to S rank. Even more so than legit, the final boss of the game. Which is weird, I know. But yeah, this is easier than the final boss in my opinion. Uh... <laughs> I mean harder than the final boss. I said it backwards. I think he had iframes and didn't take any damage from that. By the way, uh, this laser is a pain in the butt to dodge, so I suggested pummeling it and don't worry about getting hit because, yeah, we've already lost on the S-Rank, by the way. Um, if that gives you any indication of how this boss should go, I think I S-Ranked it with a time of like 30 seconds or less, which is nuts. That is completely unreasonable, in my opinion. Uh, grab a ring, please. That's kind of the theme of Silver Sword. It's like, please grab a ring. Uh, I keep hitting the underside, but it's also not doing any damage, so I'm getting really confused. I'm gonna hit an enemy, aren't I? Yep, well that's bad. I don't know where the ring went. Just run left. I'm gonna hope for the best. Okay, see? Silver can't uh, outrun that. Which is really weird game design. We could actually game over on this, potentially. Potentially. Uh, which would be bad. Because then I'd have to replay White Acropolis. I think you generally want to hit the spotlights, not the underside. I think. 
come on. I hit it like five times, which was enough to take out the other one, but not that one apparently. Yeah, see, look at the camera. You legit cannot see what you're doing. Like, legit, the camera in this level, I think, is the worst in the entire game. Because you can't even see anything. I know how to do this fight, Blaze. It's just a matter of actually not glitching the heck back. And throwing the missiles off into oblivion. <laughs> that would also be appreciated. Not doing that. Hello. Now we're getting somewhere. Let's see, I think we've already lost out on an S rank. <laughs> I'm not even kidding. I think we actually missed out. That's just how nuts this fight is. Yeah, see, look, now we have no rings, and we can't even see where the rings landed. We just kind of have to guess. Wing it. Uh... Okay, so he lost another arm. That's a good sign. Also, I just realized that arms... is out by now. Also, not only is arms, but like, Splatoon is almost out. Because I'm recording this so far ahead, yeah, Splatoon is actually gonna be out by the time this goes up. Uh, I think. Either out or really close. I don't like day one LPs personally because I feel like I screw up a lot. Where's the ring? <laughs> where's the where's the ring? You get a dash move, but you actually get the dash move after this fight, <laughs> so it actually benefits you completely, not at all. So yeah, to me this is the most garbage fight. Literally in the entire game, and it's the one thing I always hate about Silver Story. Because uh, on the whole, Silver Story is better. I will say that it is just generally better. Uh, other than a couple of flukes, it's generally a lot more playable. Generally a lot more fun. But not even even be able to see your character. That is pretty good game design. If I do say so myself. I'll probably lose all my rings. Okay, we lived. See, two minutes, uh, twenty-six thousand. That was easy. Yeah, and that's not even close to an S rank. Again, I think you'd have to do it at least a m under a minute, which is possible because I did it. But it's also really, really insane. I, at least I think I did it in under a minute. <laughs> to be honest, I don't quite remember. It said this gem can transform your thoughts into power. Collect seven, and a miracle's supposed to happen. Keep it as a lucky charm. It transforms your thoughts into power. Now, if you've seen Shadow's story already... Oh. That... Chaos Emerald should look familiar. Sonic, but now I think I'm in trouble. Maybe I should just walk away real quietly before they spot. Oh. Prisoner has escaped from cell block C17. All patrolling guards, begin searching immediately. I this repeat, way. prisoner oh, okay. has escaped from cell block C-17. Oh, I totally looked away. And more cutscenes. Thank you so much for rescuing me. I am so grateful. I'm Amy. Amy Rose. My name is Elise. Elise? Wait, you're not Elise, the Princess of Soliana, are you? I'll bet someone's already on their way to rescue you. Uh, yes. But someone I know said to me, nothing starts until you take action. 
So I decided to heed his advice. Hmm. You wouldn't happen to have some feelings for this person, would you? What? No, of course it's not. It's okay. Love changes everything. It feels like every little moment in your life is huge, doesn't it? So what does this guy look like? Have you already been on a date with him? Well, no, I really haven't. A one-way love? That's so cute. Come on, there's no need to be shy. Look, you're a princess and you're super cute. That guy's the lucky one. I also have someone that I'm pursuing, too. I wish us both luck. <laughs> also, we get thrown straight into a mission. Well, anyway, what I was basically going to say was I looked away, and thus when they got back to town, I didn't know what happened. It, it's like, what just happened? Because I was checking Discord, <laughs> to be completely honest. Um, so now we have a, a combat heavy mission <laughs> with Amy Rose. That can't go badly at all, right? That must be what you're thinking to yourself. Like, this cannot go badly. Amy with her hitbox literally a foot in front of her. And running at the speed of slow. Rolling around at the speed of slow, that's the meme. Um, by the way, I have no ring, so I could actually die even to stun enemies if I just run a little bit too close. <laughs> so that's fantastic. We lived. Barely, but we lived. Can you tell that I don't like playing as Amy in this game? Which is actually weird, because I have no issues with the character in most Sonic games. The two games I have issues with her in are this game, and to some extent Generations, and a little bit Heroes. Okay, a lot of Heroes, actually. Because she kind of pursues Sonic. It's kind of a thing, but it's... She's kind of a lot creepier <laughs> in this game. Just my personal opinion. Now she could just comes off really badly in this particular entry. I don't know if this is another cutscene or not. I don't know what actually happens next. I've been waiting so patiently for you to return, Princess. Well, I think that's it. <laughs> Maybe another cutscene? Mephilus. Tell me, who is the Iblis Trigger? Why does he want to destroy the world? Why does that matter to you? Unless you complete your task, your future will remain the same. Forever. He's currently at the terminal station. It's now or never if you want this. Okay, last cutscene. Now, there's another mission that we have to do to get into the train station. I think we're gonna save it because we're at half an hour. Yeah, we're saving it. Um, we gotta run forward and we got a mission. So yeah, we're gonna do that next time. So thank you for watching and I'm being careful because I don't want to accidentally run into the loading trigger. Uh, thank you for watching, I hope you join me next time for more Sonic the Hedgehog 2006.